everyone. Marianne Long here with the Atlantic White Shark Conservancy. Welcome to our latest episode of Shark Tales. This past Friday, a white shark was spotted off the beach in Orleans. A photographer was able to actually capture the dorsal fin as it broke the surface of the water. In the background of that photo, there is a surfer who is paddling out to catch a wave. And it caught a lot of people's attention. We really want to stress to people that this time of year, the end of September into October, we still have sharks off our coastline. We are expecting some beautiful weather in this coming week, so a lot of people are going to be going to the beaches. It's really important that people read the signs at the beaches and stay alert because the shark activity is still high this time of year. This right here is an ovary of a poor beetle shark. Poor beetle is very closely related to the white shark and the mako shark. All of these dots are eggs. They feed their young using these eggs. So they will package these up and put these into the uterus where a pup, as it's called, like this one, this is a mako shark, will then eat it. And you see this big belly on this shark here? Okay, that's called a yolk stomach. And that's full of these yolk sacs that the mother is pumping down for, so that the young can grow. So at, at some point during gestation, she will shut off production. This one right here, this one's just starting, but she'll shut off production. There'll be a lot less eggs. This embryo will just live off what's in its yolk sac until that shrinks up and the animal's fully formed and then it's born ready to go. The Atlantic White Shark Conservancy is working to inspire the next generation of ocean and shark scientists. And they're gonna teach you about sharks. Well, sharks have really big livers because they don't have a swim bladder like other fish do. Their liver has oil in them to help them float. They don't have any bones. Their whole skeleton is made of cartilage. Spiny dogfish. Shark brains are this big. Shark teeth sometimes have like ridges to like keep hold of the fish that they try to eat to keep them from escaping. Thank you for joining us for another episode of Shark Tales. Stay tuned to NBC10 Boston to stay up to date on the latest shark activity.